These places are absolutely incredible and our job is just to enjoy them and protect them for other people and make sure the very best use comes to them for everybody who wants to use them. So White Jay was set up in the 1930s and it had a particular brief to enable young people who were living in cities and had very little opportunity to get out into the countryside to be able to go out and stay in places that were affordable and low cost. And that remains our mission today. We uh, welcome around a million people a year, nearly half of uh, which are young people, uh, many of whom have never visited the countryside or the city or the coast before. Uh, our fundamental job is to connect uh, young people to nature, the outdoors, culture uh, and heritage um, and give people a fantastic time while they're here. I was drawn to White Jay because I know how much joy I personally get from adventures outside um, and that's what the White Jay is all about. It's about connecting people to places and the joy and fulfilment and enrichment that you can get from that. 2016 um, I had just come back from maternity leave and I was looking for an opportunity to be able to give back and I said hey, I'd love to put the Y back in YHA <laughs> and do that so I applied and I was successful. So my route to YHA is probably a little bit unusual. Prior to YHA you'd been uh, the CEO of Hostelling International um, I left Hostelling International during the pandemic. I was quite sad we had to resize and I really didn't feel I'd given all that I wanted to give by that time. So put my name forward, applied a couple of years in a row actually, lucky enough to get in on the second time in a row. So really uh, it's part of me completing what I started in, in terms of giving something back to the world. So YHA does a lot of the things that I really enjoy. It engages young people, gets them outdoors enjoying nature. I love nature, that's my day job. So it's really nice for me to be able to help work and apply the skills that I have to a charity that's doing the similar thing. And working with young people is something I don't get to do in my day job. So it's brilliant to bring my interest and actually make use of it. Well, I think what it is, is about giving something back, isn't it? And there's lots of different ways in the world to volunteer. But this was one where I thought, this is something that I genuinely feel passionate about. And it's something that I can genuinely help with. I wanted to give time to support the cause because I really believe in the transformative effect that some of our hostel experiences can have on young people. When you hear those stories about how a child has seen a cow for the first time or climbed a mountain for the first time and the transformational effect can, it can have on their self-belief and self-confidence and we play a really important part in that journey so that's the reason why. I just wanted to give back really. I mean, when I was a kid, White Show was just a huge part of growing up for me. It gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me freedom and independence and it just expanded my horizons. So, uh, you know, when I got to a point in life when I felt I probably could help through contributing on the board, um, I really wanted to do my bit to help White Show continue to do what it did for me for other people. I think in today's society where you know, young people have so many pressures, particularly with the, the advent of mobile phones and uh, you know, thinking about what's important from an image perspective, it's really important to have the balance of getting them out into the countryside and, and understanding other elements of life. I know a lot of people only know YHA for the hostels, but it's the impact work that we do you know, for young people um, that really makes a difference. It gives children that don't always have the opportunity to see these wild spaces that are you know, literally on their doorstep in some cases. It gives them a chance to not only see them, but stay there, enjoy them, and actually realise you know, it's there for them, but there are careers and opportunities in that as well. So it gives them a whole perspective they may not get through traditional education. For me, being out in the open air, the countryside and the wild places is just such a tonic. It's such an important part of my life, all ever since a small child. And I know that there are many, many young people who've never had that experience. And there's lots of um, facts around, you know, the benefit of having young people see the seaside or a sheep for the first time or engage with nature in terms of well-being. Um, I'm actually quite interested in trying to figure out how you track that over a long time and see how an experience you have in your teens or, or early 20s might affect you in later life. What our trustee board does is they, they set the long-term strategy and the overall direction of the charity, but they also hold us to account uh, in that delivery, make sure they're on the right track, offered uh, constructive criticism um, and thoughts and ideas. And we're really lucky in White Show, we have a, a trustee board from a huge variety of different backgrounds 
Um, so they provide a really good uh, source of advice and sounding board for us as well. Nearly all trustees are also a member of a subcommittee as well, so get to uh, get involved in certain issues in a bit more depth. Um, and occasionally, of course, we have um, one-off meetings as well. If you do become a trustee, um, you will find, you'll find it's a lot of hard work. Um, you'll find it's very rewarding. Um, you'll learn a lot. Um, you'll know that you're able to contribute to something that really makes a difference and something that really matters. I can't recommend becoming a trustee enough. And yeah, it does take time to be a trustee, but that time you just feel so valuable and it just feels like you're really doing something important for an organisation that you, you love. It's important to have young people's voices on trustee boards. You might not think that being on a trustee board is for you, but I think it's really important that all different voices are heard um, on trustee boards and at all levels of decision making. Being a white shade trustee is fantastic. That it, um, uh, it gives back as much as you give it, so it's, it's a great thing to do. It's been a fantastic learning experience. The joy of being able to give and share some of your skills and know that hopefully you're making some kind of contribution, but also that you can get so much back and it's so rewarding as well. There is a lot of work and you need to be able to give it quite a lot of time, but you will be massively rewarded um, by doing that. <music> What I love most of all is seeing the difference that we make to young people. I love seeing the smiles on their faces, I love seeing them splashing around in the mud um, and knowing that we're making a difference and it's that that really motivates me. To me it's really important that I spend my time doing things that make a difference and I genuinely believe that the YHA makes a huge difference to the lives of so many people. You get a great sort of buzz um, from thinking through the challenges that the organisation has, both in managing you know, an extensive network of hostels, but also in ensuring we get the maximum benefit in, into young people's lives. Being a trustee for me has been tremendously rewarding. Um, I've spent uh, over six years now participating in sort of understanding the YHA and working with the other trustees. They're a great group and uh, the values and the activities of the, of the charity are something that I really share. So uh, yes, it's been tremendously rewarding. I love the space, I love being in a very different environment from my day job. I like just being out here in these wonderful hostels, travelling around the country, coming to meetings. And you know, I think I learn through being a trustee, um, it just gives me that other side of the table. So personally, with inclusion at the heart of everything that I do, being able to be a trustee and see that impact uh, played out at White Chase is, is personally rewarding for me.